What's up everybody, this is Rob Shack. So today we're gonna to be moving on in uh, race three in my Japanese compact cup of my Grand Tourma 4 walkthrough. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me get to a thousand subs. Try and get there by the end of the year. Um, yeah, this has been fun. Um, Grand Tourma 4 is a great game. I love playing through it. A lot of content in this game. It was before the uh, wireless thing where they wanted all the games to be online and it ruined everything. So, not ruined everything, but it just, the, the single player campaigns really took a hit after wire after the, the internet <laughs> but um became implemented so yeah we're doing this this is the honda s500 rising on Tsukuba circuit trying to keep my uh perfect record here of getting all wins with a car that is very underpowered um it's pretty fun i gotta make a lot of savage live dive bombs and lunges to try to make passes on people even though when they pass me back, they do the exact same thing I did to them, so that's pretty funny. Um, yeah, so we're going to try to make this pass here on this cube. He's uh, kind of a... I wish they put him in first. I, I just feel bad when the cars start in first, and then they end up not in first anymore, and then they just go, eh, you're in fifth now. So then they just... they don't have any purpose in the race anymore. Like, the cube now is just going to always be just sixth place... And that's it. And I just feel bad for him because I'm like, that. that's not cool. <laughs> but uh, that's just me. So now we're just going to try to pass this Vitz F here. Or, sorry, that's the Vitz RS 1.5. I love how they really do drive on ghost tracks. And if you're near them, they just ignore you. It's so funny when they do that. So now we're going to try to catch up to this March here. Hopefully pass him. And yeah, it'll be a good time. Uh, yeah, hug the inside here, take the apex, nailed it. So, yeah, this is a great game. I love GT4. It's just such a fun game to play through. Um, let's make this dive bomb work here. Use the march to push a little bit. Cause I'm very underpowered. I think I think I have a little bit of clarity to do that. I have a little bit of leeway. Um, driving this car is super fun, but it is also very challenging because this car is very interesting in terms of it's not very good um it's very old compared to the other cars in this little shindig we're doing here so the good thing is that the brakes are so bad that i braked late still made the corner and then now i'm catching up to the vitz uh whatever this dude is the vitz uh what's his name i can't remember this one's name i think this is the vitz f from 99 so as long as i stay near him that's good um I've been trying to get through this race while still talking, and it's been actually pretty challenging, so I'm hoping that I can actually do that. But the point of me saying that was that in one of my races, the Vitz F was in third, which was really weird. So I'm not sure if that's going to be like a normal thing. It seems like it's not this time. It seems like the Vitz F is like totally holding down the fort here. So I'm not really sure. That was just like a weird thing. It happened. They were in, They switched places before I even got there, so I'm like... Was that like something weird that happens sometimes? Do AI actually make passes in GT4? It, it seems like they, they really don't. So, wait, speaking of, why is this dude being so aggressive here? Hey, get out of my way. Both of you. This is my, my, my turf. But um, I forgot to be, I was not using the NOS, that was my problem. So, um, yeah, so the AI are very, very, they struggle to make passes in this game. It's pretty funny to see they just do not like to make passes. Except for that, of course, as I said that, ironically, then they just both like actually got out of the line and like did it the right way there. So that was kind of interesting. But um, we're still holding the lead, albeit kind of barely. So it's a good time. It's a good time. AI are fun to race against. They're good. They just made them so good in this game that it's sometimes not as exciting when they drive it but that's not a too bad of a thing because you still have your you still have your replayable races in this game where AIs just make mistakes all the time uh, obviously the Japanese compact cup although that bits just drove way off the road there so yeah the AI do still make mistakes um, yeah so that's just interesting um, cube is just way in the back this time the bits has switched places it's kind of my fault but the, the race that I wanted but I messed up at the end and lost the race, Was had them in that place, so that's kind of the way I wanted it to be anyway. So, yeah, I'll let y'all watch the replay. It's a good replay. Um, interesting to have some sort of changes in 
uh, positions there. That's always kind of what I like. I like when the cars actually like have interaction, even though the AI are like good and stuff like that. I'm just like, yeah, I want something to happen, anything to make it interesting. So I'm all about that. And I don't know what happened with the RS2 Turbo there at the last corner. It kind of flew off the road. So we'll go back and watch that. But yeah, it's a good thing. I kind of wish that the cube spawned in first every single race because then it would be like a race to see how long it takes for everyone to get around him. That's always when I was a kid. I liked when that would happen. I liked when the slower cars would be in front because I was like, now it turns into like an actual race where like people do stuff. But um, this way is honestly still fun too. It honestly is a better challenge. And I like the challenge of like, Driving the, I mean, if, if the cube started at first, this race would be so easy because the AI don't really pass quickly. So I could just slowly gain on everybody and then just make a pass and pass everybody all in one corner because they'd all be stuck behind the cube. So I think I would rather it be this way, but it's just some races I would like it if they didn't shift everything. Like I wish they would just kind of go with the initial spawns because they switched them and I don't really know why they did that. So I've passed the cube, passing the vits. Cut up on the march, I think, which is also called a micro, and then I think the Vitzes are also called Yaris's, if I recall correctly. So, yeah, slowly gaining using my NOS. That's how I was able to do this because the S500 is pretty slow. Um, I haven't fully tuned it because I couldn't afford it, but still, it's good. How much, how much faster are you going to get with a car that started with like 60 horsepower? So, it's up there now. It's like got 80 or 86, I believe, is how much power my car has now. So, we're doing it, we're doing it. But um, thank you all again for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. You can watch me make my dive bombs, see what the AI do, uh, watch as the cube just goes further into uh, irrelevancy, and watch as the Vitz is actually are battling it. So this is where they passed each other last time when I was not, I, the race didn't save, I didn't save the race because I lost it. But the, that Vitz passed this Vitz on that corner on lap two last time. And I thought that was really interesting and he almost did it again. So that might've been like a thing where it's actually consistent. So I think the RS is the turbo is actually faster than the Vitz F, but the Vitz F is still pretty legendary because I think it was also in Gran Turismo 2. That I'm pretty sure this exact car was in Gran Turismo 2. And it's kind of cool to see it back again. Because in uh Gran Turismo 3, they just had the Vitz RS 1.5 and the Euro edition. So they actually removed the Vitz F and then brought it back. So I'm glad they brought it back and it still is a very, very good Vitz compared to the others. So yeah, I talked enough. Enjoy the rest of the race. Y'all are great. Thanks. Peace.